the overall vision, the way I see it, is really creating a new landscape in um, uh, health research, and uh, which evolves around developing in situ capacity within Africa, uh, but not doing it in isolation, doing it you know, with those uh, who've had practice before. Um, in, uh, in the consortium where I come from, we use the term smart partnership, a smart partnership uh, arrangement. I find that quite uh, attractive about this initiative. Its origin dates back to the studies which were uh, going on in the UK under the Foresight program. We're looking at you know, uh, future risk for infectious diseases, and um, several things came out quite obvious. For example, that um, Africa still harbors um, endemic setting of those diseases which have been um, eliminated elsewhere. It has those diseases which are peculiar to Africa. And when you look at the other uh, capacity of um, risk managing those diseases, probably has the, well, it certainly has the lowest capacity. So when 2008 Welcome Trust announced the, um, the African initiative, and we, we were delighted that you know, it you know, seemed to be a similar objective, and so we, we went in and, um, and we were very honored that we were able to, um, to be one of the seven. We have some programs, uh, for example, working with Rift Valley Fever, where we're now funding um, people who are funded by other programs or another programs are joining up forces with us. We have another program on Futumauzi. We are finding others are finding uh, uh, um, forces with us. We're trying to do the same with the tuberculosis. So that has enabled us to start now working towards the, um, being um, you know, being attracted uh, attracted to others yeah, that they you know, they can trust us to work together. Because we had been this collaboration between Zambia and South Africa and and the external world, there was this new. Uh, agent called Lujo virus. It's called Lujo, standing for Lusaka, Johannesburg. A new a virus, totally new virus, highly lethal. Um, it affected five individuals in hospitals. Four died. The fifth one was saved because the diagnosis was done quickly. The characterization of that virus, that, that virus was new, was done quickly, and therefore that person was able to be treated with antiviral. Now, so if you can develop the, the science and research capacity in situ, um, that has the, 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 the potential impact of being able to deal with the new uh, enterprises quickly, and of course, in a collaboration with others. This uh, ability to pull, you know, pull teams together, um, that excites me.